Praise the Lord. I pray that the power of God will never stop in your life, in your family, in our church, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We glorify you because of what you are doing. News of signs and wonders from every place. Lord, we pray as you have lifted up this place to the glory of your name. We pray that your light and your power will go on beaming forth out of this place in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, that your people will go from strength to strength, from glory to glory, and from faith unto faith in Jesus' name. Once again, speak to every heart right now. And we pray that whatever it is that will hinder your people, making progress in every direction, run everything away in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. We're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 33. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 26, all through to verse 29. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 26. There is none like unto the God of Jezreel, who rideth upon the heaven in the hell, and his excellence on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge. Underneath are the everlasting arms. He shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. You will dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also, the heaven shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy hell, and who is the sword of thy excellency, and thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. We can see from verse 26, talking about God, it says, There is none like unto our God, a God of power, a God of glory, a God of all possibilities, and telling us that our God is incomparable to anyone. He then tells us in verse 27, the everlasting, the eternal God is thy refuge. Underneath are the everlasting arms. Underneath you, underneath your life, supporting your life, holding up your life, will be those everlasting arms in Jesus' name. For Samuel, chapter 2, verse 2. For Samuel, chapter 2, verse 2. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Again, it emphasizes the very fact that there is no God like our God. There's no power like his power. There's no majesty like his. And there is none that can do. Watch he does because there's not comparable unto him. Second Samuel chapter 7. In Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 21 and verse 22. For thy words sake and according to thine own heart as thou done all these things, all these great things, to make thy servant know them. You will know them. 
Wherefore thou art great, O Lord God, for there is none like thee. You find the testimony everywhere from the Pentateuch that he is from the first five books of the Bible, none like unto our God. To the historical books of the Bible where God acted in supernatural power. Again, the testimony is in the life of everyone and in the life of the nation. There is none like our God, for there is none like thee. Neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard and all we have seen with our very ears and very eyes. Then in the Psalms, Psalm 86. In Psalm 86, reading from verse 8. Psalm 86, reading from verse 8. The assurance we have is that serving a God like this makes our lives peculiar because of the peculiarity of the God that we serve. Psalm 86, verse 8. Among the gods, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. You see the emphasis over and over that in any part of the world, anywhere on earth, in any generation, in the universe, there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. Verse 10, for thou art great, our God is great. Say, my God is great and doeth wondrous things. Thou art God alone. He stands by class by himself. Omnipotent, all-powerful. Omnipresent, present everywhere. Omniscient, knowing everything. Or the possibility of doing everything that needs to be done in our lives. We come to the prophet Isaiah. Chapter 46. Isaiah chapter 46 reading from verse 9 remember the former things of old for i am god and there is none else i am god and there is none like me the prophets also affirm there is none like unto our god our god is wonderfully great in verse 10 declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand the counsel of the Lord will stand in your life in Jesus name and I will do all my pleasure I will do all my pleasure the testimony is uniform everywhere in the word of God those who have tasted God, those who have known God, those who have prayed unto God, those who have any relationship with God, they can tell there is none like our God. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 6. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Again, it reminds us in Jeremiah, there is none like unto our God. Would you remember then, as you go back home, anytime, anywhere you go, there is none like unto our God. Whatever the need in your life, whatever may surface anytime, you know there is none like unto our God. I want to look briefly this morning on the irresistible power of our incomparable God. On the one hand, God is incomparable to any. On the other hand, His power is irresistible. Irresistible power, an unstoppable power, 
a power that was and there's nothing that can challenge that power and you are a child of that god or you are a servant of that god and you are a minister underneath the power of that god the irresistible power of our incomparable god three points to quickly consider number one the uncommon promises of the immutable god immutable means unchangeable he cannot change from everlasting to everlasting is the same and he has given us promises and those promises are uncommon you cannot find them in any other place except in the book of god and he says those promises uncommon promises they are for you and this god who has given those promises this god is unchangeable immutable the uncommon promises of the immutable god will you realize that our god is immutable unchangeable from generation to generation he remains ever the same in malachi chapter 3 verse 6 malachi chapter 3 verse 6 for i am god i change not immutable i am god i change not immutable when he gives you a promise he will back up that word until it is fulfilled when he gives you an assignment he will back you up until the assignment is done when he gives you a challenge he will stand by you immutable unchangeable his power will surround you his promise will be yes and amen in your life he is the god that changes not hebrews chapter 13 reading there from verse 8 hebrews 13 reading from verse 8 the immutable god it tells us in this verse 8 jesus christ the same would you please remember that he saved before he saves today he healed before he heals today he delivered before he delivers today he calmed the storm before he's coming the storm in the ocean of every life today and he stopped the works of the devil destroyed the works of the devil before he's still doing that today he sanctified before he made people holy and righteous before he's still sanctifying people today he baptized in the Holy Ghost before he's still doing that today Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever and he has given us promises promises that are uncommon that is promises that they blow the mind of people how can that be and it is going to be in your life i said it's going to be in your life in ezekiel ezekiel uncommon promises ezekiel chapter 36 verse 11 uncommon promises and i will multiply upon you man and beast the work of your hand multiplication the fruit of your body multiplication the power in your spiritual life multiplication your authority and your power multiplication the manifestation of the goodness of god in your life multiplication the soul winning fruit in our church multiplication church planting multiplication you turn to the right you turn to the left you move forward everywhere you go multiplication in jesus name and they shall increase and bring fruit there is no decrease anymore forward ever backward never increase and no decrease in your life in jesus name and then it goes on i will settle you after your old estate nobody will drive you away from your estate 
nobody will take your inheritance from you ahab and jezebel will not kill the nabot of today to take your inheritance in jesus name everything the lord has given you it will preserve look at the latter part of verse 11 and i will do and i will do and i will do better unto you than at your beginning as some people say good old days and i say better present days the mark of better things will be upon every member of deeper life and the token and the symbol of greater higher things will be upon every member of deeper life in jesus name stop looking back look forward stop looking back look up because uncommon promises are given unto us and it says i will do better things unto you than at your beginning and ye shall know that i am the lord you will know every day the i am that i am the i am that i am he will not fail you you will not fall you will not stumble in jesus name verse 25 of that same chapter then will i speak with clean water upon you and ye shall be clean ye shall be clean all the deaths of the world they are cleansed away from your life in jesus name the dirty things of the past they are taken away from your conscience in jesus name then it says from all your idols all your feelings will i clean you cleanse you and a new heart will i give unto you a new heart in jesus name all the palpitation of the heart that is taken away weakness of the heart that is taken away hole in the heart that is taken away tiredness in your spirit that is taken away and all the i cannot the heart that cannot i cannot run i cannot jump i cannot do anything you will run the race set before you in jesus name a new heart physical a new heart spiritual a new heart moral a new heart supernatural a new heart will i give you and a new spirit will i put within you the spirit of today is a concrete spirit it's not a coward spirit the spirit we're receiving now is not a crutched spirit it is not a coward spirit it is a kind of spirit that will conquer you will conquer in jesus name and i will take the stony heart out of your flesh and i will give you an heart of flesh on common promise it has happened and i will put my spirit within you you've been born again how many years now you have been sanctified how many years now and there's no baptism of the holy ghost yet you are baptized in jesus name the power of the Holy Ghost will be upon your life. You get back home, it may be when you are needed in the morning, having your quiet time. Holy Ghost power will come upon your life in Jesus' name. It may be that you are preparing to preach the word of God. And then, you, you know, while you are preparing, you are praying, Oh God, give me the word today, give me the word today. As you are getting ready for ministry, Holy Ghost power upon your life in Jesus' name. It will feel your heart to overflow, your vessel will overflow in the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. And then it says in that verse 27, And cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. It's a new day, a new season of power. And these are common promises, they are ours, they are yours in Jesus' name jeremiah chapter 32 jeremiah chapter 32 on common promises that he gives unto us and these promises are going to be fulfilled in your life you are the recipients of these great glorious promises verse 38 jeremiah chapter 32 
and they shall be my people and I will be their God they shall be my people I will be their God there will be nothing standing between you and God in Jesus name there will be no partitioning between you and God and there will be no hindrance in between you and God there will be no wall between you and God you will be with him face to face look at verse 39 and I will give them one heart what does that mean? I will give them one heart God has only one kind of heart to give us the heart of his only begotten son the heart of Jesus he gives you the heart of Jesus you think like Jesus you talk like Jesus you live like Jesus you plan like Jesus Jesus never planned in unbelief and he gives you the heart of Jesus one heart you plan in faith you walk by faith you talk by faith you strategize by faith you move on in faith one heart one heart and I will give them one heart and one way he has only one way and it's the way of Christ it's the way of holiness it's the way the highway of holiness is going to give every one of us that one way what an uncommon promise is this is given unto us and then he says that they may fear me forever and for the good of them and of their children after them and I will make an everlasting covenant with them I need an amen there and I will not turn away from them to do them good it will do you good all the days of your life you wake up in the morning God is doing good unto you you go to work in the afternoon God is doing good unto you in the evening when you come back your mouth is filled with testimonies of the goodness of God in Jesus name but I will put my fear in their hearts that they should not depart from me no backsliding no apostasy we're going to remain with the Lord in Jesus name we're coming to Luke chapter 1 Luke chapter 1 on common promises of the immutable unchangeable God Luke chapter 1 reading from verse 71 that we should be saved from our enemies no enemy will hinder your progress anymore you'll be on top of everything for the rest of your life in Jesus name it says that we should be saved rescued delivered protected preserved from all our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant the oath which is swear to our father Abraham that he will grant unto us that we been delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear you'll serve God without fear fear of the past no fear fear of the present no fear fear of the future no fear fear of evil powers no fear fear of whatever he didn't see anywhere there'll be no fear in our lives anymore in Jesus name verse 75 in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life i'm sure that's not the first time you're hearing about holiness there are people that temporarily they add holiness when they go in it's easy they add holiness when temptation comes holiness will evaporate away there are people in the time of peace holiness when trials come when difficulties come when challenges come then holiness will dry up but see the holiness is giving us this one will never dry up this one will never evaporate and this one will never stop in holiness and righteousness before him not just before man anywhere everywhere before him all the days of our life 
it is fulfilled in Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 19. It tells us, Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he has consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. And I've been a high priest, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, over the house of God. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Then it goes on to say, have been our heart sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promised. He's a faithful God. You can't change him. He's immutable. And he has given us those coming promises. And all the promises of God in Christ will be yes and amen in every one of our lives in Jesus' name. Point number two. The unconquerable power of the immeasurable God immeasurable God when it says immeasurable God it means that whatever it is to be done will be done because his power is immeasurable his strength is immeasurable his might is immeasurable look at Matthew chapter 19 immeasurable God immeasurable God almighty omnipotent in Matthew chapter 19, reading from verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible. Men are limited. But with God, tell me, all things are possible, immeasurable. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke chapter 1 verse 37 For with God nothing shall be impossible That is the immeasurable God Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 Ephesians 3 verse 20 Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly Above all that we ask or think according to the power that walketh in us immeasurable now his power is unconquerable and the power of god in your life cannot be conquered by any other power here on earth here in the universe in psalm 62 psalm 62 verse 11 God has spoken once. Twice have I heard this. The power belongeth unto God. The power to save, power belongeth unto God. The power to sanctify, make holy, make pure, make clean. Clean within clean in your thoughts clean in your mind clean in your soul clean in your spirit the power to sanctify power belongeth unto god the power to heal whatever sickness whatever infirmity the power to heal power belongeth unto god the power to deliver whatever the captivity may be power belongeth unto God the power to destroy all the works of the devil power belongeth unto God the power to produce miracle the power to work signs and wonders power belongeth unto God the power to fulfill all the promises has given us power belongeth unto God the power to turn barrenness unto fruitfulness and to make impossibilities possible, power belongeth unto God. Have you seen that? 
that verse is in the present tense continually today tomorrow every moment of your life power belongs unto god in church at home power belongs unto god before pharaoh before herod before nebuchadnezzar power belongs unto god in the lion's den and in the furnace of fire power belongs unto god on the stormy sea and on the road to damascus power belongs unto god i am saying for the rest of your life every moment of your life power belongs unto god in jesus name that power will never cease walking will never stop walking in your life in jesus name jeremiah chapter 32 jeremiah chapter 32 we're looking at verse 17 here ah lord god behold thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm and there is nothing too hard for thee there is nothing too hard for thee is there any sin at there that appears is like the soul of Tarsus. It's like unsavable. It's like unforgivable. It's like unchangeable. But it says nothing is too hard for thee. Is there somebody there? I find sanctification, holiness almost impossible, unbelievable. But he has this unconquerable power. And it says nothing is too hard for thee. You find the baptism in the Holy Ghost, the outpouring of his power, something unbelievable. And then he gives you another language you never learn, and you speak fluently. Power belongeth unto God, and there is nothing too hard for thee you see not the one that make balaam's ass to speak with the language of man and balaam replied and the ass replied again if he could do that and he says i'm god i change not that holy ghost power that comes to transform your heart and your life and your tongue and your personality it will happen to you in jesus name because there is nothing too hard for thee. Are you reaching up that it appears the same day said disease is a terminal disease? Once they have it, HIV AIDS, once they've got it, cancer, once they've got it, tuberculosis, once they've got it, whatever it is, they say that is all. Our God will turn everything around in Jesus' name. Maybe you are separated from your husband. And then you are wondering, what will I do now? This man has said on my dead body, I'm not coming back again. You are going to be united again in Jesus' name. Maybe the wife is gone. And the wife is saying, go look for another person. I'm a Christian now. It's one man, one wife, until let's do us part. But she's saying, well, you wait there. I'm going to live my life. Go and live your life. That wife, that woman is coming back in Jesus' name. I've told you the story before. You know, we're having a meeting at one Pentecostal church, and uh, you know, in the morning about 2,500 will gather together. And then I was called to go through the gifts of the Spirit one by one. In the morning, we had a teaching session. In the evening, we had a demonstration. It was a time of great teaching and great demonstration. After one of the sessions, then one of the pastors came to me and said, Can you pray with me that I want to get married? I looked at him. The man was as old as I was, maybe even older. And I asked him, Have you married before? She said, Yes, I got married before. I said, Where is the wife? Oh, he said, It's a long story, but let me make it brief for you. That actually I had poison in my blood system. And because of that blood problem, the wife, when he saw that, the wife said, I cannot live with a dead man. I'm going. And so the wife went away. And that wife said, bye-bye. I will never come back again. And I was teaching on the gift of faith. And when you teach on the gift of faith, faith can do anything. And faith will do everything in your life in Jesus' name. 
and so he said since you've taught us faith pray with me agree with me so that i will get married to another wife i said no i'm going to pray that that same wife will come back and she looked at me and said impossible i said with her god all things are possible and i come to tell you today with your god tell me all things are possible he said but how about the poison in my blood i said that is going to be removed i said now we're going to pray i told him what will happen before we even prayed i said after the prayer god will heal you i said after the prayer god will heal you and then don't say anything to any doctor you go back to the same doctor that gave you that medical report before and then they will test you they will see that you are healed they'll give you a new medical report and then i said don't even plead with that woman just photocopy that uh, result and then send it to the woman when the woman sees that the woman will come back he looked at me as you know in africa they seem to believe anything because you know over there it's a different story and and then but i held his hand and i prayed i said eh, well i'll see you next year with your beloved wife and said okay well that okay was like i hear you and whatever i tell you from the word of god it should be fulfilled in jesus name the following year because uh, that year you know god did some miracle it was a great breakthrough for that pentecostal church they invited me back again and when i got back after one of my sessions there and uh, this uh, britain and then one man came to see me with a woman and you know they they all look alike i don't know the difference between them and then he said hey, pastor do you remember me i said i don't seem to remember you all you white people look ahead who are you he said i'm the one that came and i said there was poison in my blood i said yes i remember now he said i did what you told me to do i went back to the doctor they gave me a new medical report i sent a copy to my wife and here is my wife here we have mr and mrs pastor and mrs so and so if god can do that over there something is coming your way it will do it in your life in jesus name why because there is nothing too hard for god i want to repeat again that's your wife that has run away she is coming back in jesus name because this our god is immeasurable every impossibility in your life they become possible in jesus name husband wife you are united together and the lord will keep you together in jesus name children that have run away they're coming back home all your children you have lost they're coming back again in jesus name because this god is the god of all impossibilities he will do it in your life in jesus name any infirmity there any sickness there the lord is going to remove it we're looking at acts chapter 10 Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. And they were told with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, he'll do good in your life. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. We're looking at Hebrews chapter 7. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 verse 26 wherefore he is able is your god able wherefore he is able when you come to a straight corner therefore he is able when temptations come against your life wherefore he is able when trials knock at your door wherefore he is able when it appears affliction is knocking at the door when it appears sickness will not allow you to enjoy your life i want to remind you wherefore he is able when it appears that the devil is trying to shake every conviction you have in you and it appears you cannot stand wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost save them and keep them and protect them and preserve them to the uttermost that come unto god by him seeing he ever live to make intercession for them for such an high priest became us 
who is holy, hamlet, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. I pray that all these will be preserved in your life in Jesus' name. Look at um, Jude, only one chapter, Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. You will not fall. You will not fail. You will not fail. From this very day on, you go from strength to strength. From victory unto victory in Jesus' name. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, the glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Point number three. The uncompromising people of the immovable God. Uncompromising people of the immovable God. Our God is immovable. Where he stood before, that is where he is still standing. We will not compromise in Jesus' name. Now, when we talk of not compromising, people don't understand fully about the spirit that doesn't compromise. Let me explain. Moses came before Pharaoh and he said, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, who is that God? I don't know that God. And God began to perform miracle upon miracle. And then eventually Moses was called by Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said, now, I've seen the manifestation of the power of God. All you men, you can go. Like you said, let your women and your children remain behind. Compromise will mean if Moses accepted that. After all, he has said nobody will go before. He has even given us now more than maybe half of the population and he said let all the men go but let the women remain behind but Moses said not so what God said is let my people go the men and the women and the children will go and so Pharaoh said looks like you are not ready compromise is when you know that God has given you this possession and then the enemy is saying, I will hold a little, I give you permission, you can go with this. If you accept that, that's compromise. And then eventually Pharaoh called Moses and said, Okay, let the men and the women and your children, let them go. But all your herds, all your cattle, you will leave behind. And Moses said, Pharaoh, look at me. Not a hoof. Are we going to leave behind? everything that belongs to Israel we're going to claim everything no part of us whether animal or possession whatever will remain in Egypt it is when you take your stand like that you become an uncompromising person in the sight of the Lord you will not bargain with Satan you will not bargain with the enemy you will not say all right I am going to be with the Lord you want to take my children okay I can't help it you will help it I said you can help it your family all of you will be with the Lord in Jesus name your spiritual life you'll be uncompromising your business life you'll be uncompromising every blessing the Lord has given you you will not strike a compromise with the devil and leave anything behind in Jesus name there will be no moral compromise in your life. There will be no material compromise in your life. There will be no spiritual compromise in your life. There will be no professional compromise in your life. We are a people that will not compromise everything that belongs to us. We are going to keep it until the very end in Jesus' name. 
Look at this Exodus now, chapter 23. Exodus chapter 23. I'm reading from verse 22. Exodus 23, verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies. You will not bargain with your enemy. You will not compromise with your enemy. You know, those enemies sometimes, they have the acumen. I don't want to say wisdom. They have a, what they know. They know how to get somebody to compromise. It's like, all right, all right. I wanted to totally destroy you. I wanted to totally take everything from you. Now I will bargain. Take 50% and I will take 50. My friend, you didn't work for any one percent. Everything that belongs to me, everything that belongs to a child of God, we're going to have in Jesus' name. This, your life is sacred. And this, your profession is sacred. Everything you have earned, everything is sacred. You will not compromise with the enemy in Jesus' name. That's why it says, if you only will obey the voice of the Lord and everything that he speaks, then he will be an enemy to your enemy. I can't hear an amen over there. And an adversary to an adversary. But mine angel shall go before thee. He'll beat every enemy down. He'll beat every adversary down. And then he says, he will bring you in unto the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites and I will cut them off. You don't need to make any compromise with them because the Lord is on your side. You don't need to make any compromise with an oppressor, with a Canaanite, with a worldly-minded person because the Lord is on your side. And he says, I will cut them off. No compromise with Nebuchadnezzar. No compromise with Pharaoh. No compromise with Herod. We are going to win the day in Jesus' name. And you shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless thy bread and bless thy water. You're keeping quiet on me. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. You know, sometimes the devil will come as a compromise. He say, you know, you have a, they call it a little headache. Or they call it a little stomach disturbance. Or they call it a little rheumatism. And then the devil will come to you and say, ah, what are you praying about? Look at the one that has cancer, you have little headache. Look at the one that has HIV AIDS and you have little stomach uh, uh, disorder. And then you, you know, why can't you get a little sickness and learn how to endure? And then you say, if you say, ah, ah, this is true. That other, there are people that have cancer, I don't have cancer. There are people that have this one, uh, HIV AIDS, I don't have that. If it is this uh, little headache, I think I will manage this one that's compromised. I said that is compromise. He says, I will take sickness from the midst of thee. It is gone in Jesus' name. Anything from the devil, I will not tolerate. Anything from the enemy, I will not tolerate. As your days are, so shall be your strength in Jesus' name. And then it says, verse 26, And there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land, and the number of thy days I will fulfill. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Premature death is cancelled in Jesus' name. All the promises of God, they are yours. I said all the promises of God, they are yours. Uncompromising people of the immovable God. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. These people were talking about, number one, they have sure and sound conversion. These people of God. These people that will not compromise and leave any part of their lives, any part of their property, any part of their possession, any part of their posterity, they will not leave in the hands of the devil. Number one, they have sure and sound combustion. Number two, 
they have scriptural conduct these are the people the word of god is their manual you wake up in the morning you look at the manual and say this is how to live today this is where to go today and you have scriptural conduct number three they are the people that have sincere conversation sincere conversation sincere conversation you don't tell lies on yourself and you say you are humble you know some people i am a nobody they think they are being humble that's telling a lie you are not a nobody you're a new creature you're a child of god you're a child of the heavenly father and all the inheritance of god belongs to you how can you say you're a nobody that's not humility you're telling lies on yourself it will not happen like that again in jesus name sincere conversation i am who god says i am i can do what god says i can do i will face every challenge god says i will face i am as strong as the strength of the lord empowering me that's sincere conversation i'm just telling you that this is what god has said and god cannot lie and i will not lie on god sincere conversation these are the people they have soul winning commitment soul winning commitment they are telling people around them come with us and we will do you good the people that have soul winning commitment the people that have stable and steady conviction stable and steady conviction they are not people who are you know dilly dallying and wavering they are stable and they are solid and they are steady in their conviction number six the people of selfless consecration selfless consecration i have opened my mouth unto the lord and i cannot go back the people that have single-minded constancy single-minded constancy they are always there like the rock of gibraltar they are always there they are dependable they are trustworthy such people god is going to pour his blessing immeasurable blessing upon every one of your lives in jesus name Deuteronomy chapter 28, I'm reading from verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee shall run after thee shall overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god do you know blessed shall thou be in the city do you remember blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle and the increase of thy kind and the flock of thy sheep blessed shall be thy basket and thy store blessed shall thou be when thou comest in and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out no, he's saying that all around and everywhere the blessedness of the Lord will be upon you in Jesus name the Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face they shall come out against thee one way and they shall flee before thee seven ways the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto and he shall bless thee in the land which the lord thy god giveth thee the lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the lord thy god and walk in his ways and all people of the earth shall see shall see shall see that thou art called by the name of the lord and they shall be afraid of thee and the lord shall make thee plenteous in goods in the fruit of thy body in the fruit of thy cattle 
in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord thy God swear unto thee to give thee, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give thee rain unto thy land in a season, and to bless, and to bless, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Where are the heads? Where are they? I said, where are they? Heads? The tails are sitting down? No. Heads, heads, the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. That shall be above only. Above only. Above only. Thou shalt not be beneath. If thou shalt hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which he has commanded you this day to observe and to do them. A new thing has started already. Tell the Lord, I accept that. I am accepted and I accept that. Tell the Lord, I know it is mine. Yes, it is mine. Because we have this irresistible power of the incomparable God that he has given unto us. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. You'll never lack again everything, all the good desires of your heart. The Lord is fulfilling. The Lord is bringing you to a new era, a new season, a new period of irresistible power. It will work in your life. In the day, that power will be with you. In the night, that power will be with you. In your office, that power will be with you. In your market, that power will be with you. In the church, that power will be with you. On the road, that power will be with you. On the street, that power will be with you in the village the power will be with you he has raised you up he has lifted you up he has made you the head and not the tail above only above only above only and the promises of god will be yes and amen in your life yes and amen in your life yes and amen in your life the lord has a reason to do good unto you and that good thing will never stop in your life. Remember, in say God, there's none like him. There's no power like his power. No promises like his promises. And there is no provision like his provision. And he has centered upon you in particular to do you good. And that goodness of the Lord will never stop in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. What are the heads again? God will fulfill it. Forget the past and face the future. Your future is brighter than your past in Jesus' name. All the enemies and all the things that stop you, your progress in the past, all those things, they are crushed under your feet in Jesus' name. No sickness will stop you. No evil spirit will stop you. No Satan will stop you. No sin will stop you. No compromise will stop you. No fear will stop you. No man will stop you. No village will stop you. From strength to strength, from mind to mind, from power to power, the Lord has lifted you up. You will never fall in Jesus' name. Raise up the hand of victory above your head above your head as high as the lord is taking you father in the name of jesus we thank you because you have brought us right now in your very presence with this irresistible power in our lives i pray that lord as your children brothers and sisters boys and girls and they move forth they move forth in the power of the lord Come cross more than come cross, everyone will be in Jesus' name. Enemies are conquered before you. If they meet you during the day, they will bow. 
if they meet you in the dream they will bow and all the promises of God are yes and amen in your life in Jesus name your salvation will be undoubtable indubitable and your salvation will be sure and certain in Jesus name he has called you to be a holy people unto himself and that holiness will be without any doubt in your life in Jesus name he has promised that there will be no sickness hiding any part of your body from the top of your head to the tip of your toe healing and health in Jesus name demons will not find a place in your body you are the temple of the living God an evil spirit with all their control and with all their evil imagination will not have any place to control in your life in Jesus name I take your destiny away from the hand of the devil the almighty God will be in charge in control of your life in Jesus name all the conspiracy of the enemy against your soul against your spirit against your business against your family against your profession against your life against your future against your destiny all the conspiracy of the enemy i destroy in jesus name the joy of the lord will be your strength the promises of the lord will be your support the power of the lord will be your succor the provision of the Lord will be your abundance and you will not fail you will not fade you will not fall the Lord go with you as you go and all the things you open your mouth to tell the Lord during this weekend the Lord fulfill everything in your life in Jesus name in the day in the night miracle on the road miracle in your office miracle you become now special and peculiar in the sight of the lord in jesus name every thursday you go to your revival hour starting testimonies exciting testimonies new new testimonies in jesus name go in the strength of the lord go in the power of the lord and experience miracle every day we thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray